it's a healthy thing for any musician to, to sometimes take that pressure off themselves of trying to do something that other people will think is good or that or even that you yourself think is good to see what happens if you try to make a piece of music you think is bad um, sometimes you'll be surprised with the result sometimes uh, you'll make better music trying to make something bad than something good uh, that that was how it was for me uh, back when I made my first solo record Neandre Ledes I'd been trying to write good songs up till that time the songs that I thought might appeal to the audience of the music in the scene that I was part of, which was like Fishbone and the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Jane's Addiction. And, um, it just didn't, it just, it didn't feel natural for me. And so I just started making music that was just sort of weird for the sake of weird and, you know, inspired by more like from Velvet Underground or Sid Barrett or things like that. And just like trying to sound, you know, trying to do what really came naturally when I didn't put any effort into it at all to try to make something good. And it, and it turned out that I really loved listening to that stuff and I couldn't bear to listen to the stuff that I was making, you know, that I was trying to do before that, where I was, you know, trying to write something that I thought would appeal to the people in the world I was in. So it, sometimes, you know, sometimes environments, the environment you're in the, the or the people who you think of as being an audience, sometimes that's the best thing to to pull the most creative uh, fruits out of you. But sometimes it's good to totally disconnect yourself from that. And I've had to do that many times in my life uh, to keep my creativity flowing. And so that's what I did for a year before I started recording Maya was just make bad stuff. And I did make bad stuff. It was really like, I can't believe that I was able to have the patience, you know. But there were good bursts of energy in that time. I made a uh, couple of good noise tracks that I put online and on my SoundCloud and stuff. And but in general, I I uh, I had to put I had to put aside all considerations of any kind of criteria of good in order to make sure that I would have a new musical language. So when I did come to make music, I could do it in a way that I'd never done it before.